I didn't think you'd be back so soon. How's Star doing? Oh, Langston. Oh, you're driving me crazy. How's your mom? Nothing's changed. Aunt Dorian's in there with her now. Maybe you should take a break. I don't want a break. What I want to do is talk to her, but I, I can't. I don't even know if she can hear me. I just keep begging her not to die. Like, since she, she's got to wake up. I know. If something doesn't go right for you pretty soon, I, I'm just going to lose it. I just need her really bad right now because I know she would be able to help me figure out how Hope died. I, I thought you already knew. I didn't tell you. No. Oh, my God. I've been so tired. I don't even remember who I told and who I haven't. What are you talking about? Marcy found out that Cole's RH factor is the same as mine, so Hope couldn't have died from RH disease. Right samples. Right here. Oh, no? Yes. God, Chloe's fingernails are so little, I hope they work. I think they will. I'm sure they will. And you are a genius to get Jessica's hair out of her brush. Uh. this test because we already know that Chloe isn't Jessica's baby yes I am hey sweet girl you want to go get something to eat with your mama of those who survived and that power was out for three hours in eastern metro because of down hydro lines and police <laughs> they have a space channel here cool what what Shane are you okay sweetie yeah Why'd you guys stay here all night? Because we love you. I'm not a baby. You had your first chemo yesterday. We were afraid you'd feel sick. I'm fine. Yo, big guy! Whoa! Even a bigger appetite. Because look what I got for you. I got eggs and waffles and everybody's favorite cream chip beef. Anything. You know, I said I was fine. Oh, no. Way to go, rocks. Here you go. So, more coffee? Yes. It's Davidson. You're working here now. Helping out for a good cause, right along with Charlie Banks. Yeah, thank you all for showing up for Shane. Here's the drill. You follow these instructions. Don't be gentle. You really want to rub the inside of your cheeks with the swabs. You get two swabs for upper, two for lower. That's it. Any questions? Thank you so much for getting tested. You know, I've been through this with one of my own children, and I can tell you it means the world. I'm just hoping I'm the one that can help the kid out. You're a good man, Oliver Fish. Don't forget to help yourself to the buffet before the food's all gone. Hey, okay, who's next? I'm Stacy Marasco. I'm Gigi's sister. Shane's aunt. Well, hello. I'm Victoria Davidson. I'm a friend of Gigi's. She's told me a great deal about you. I'll bet she has. <laughs> Kiddo, next time it'll be tea and toast. You want to go for a walk? Doctor said you'll get weak if you stay in the bed too much. Okay. 
You want to come with me, Grandma? You got it. Come on. Yeah, Gigi's not exactly my biggest fan right now. Well, relationships between sisters can be difficult. But it's good that you're here now. Yeah, family member has a much better chance of being a donor. So how's Gigi holding up? Uh, good, I guess. You guess? Well, she and I got into an argument just before she found out about Shane, so I've just been giving her space. She has enough on her plate right now. She certainly does. Well, I'm sure she'll be happy to know that you're getting tested. Yeah, and with any luck, I'll be a match. I was supposed to do it yesterday at the hospital, but something came up, so... It wasn't so hard, was it? Well, maybe it was for you. You're not very big at doing the right thing, so maybe the first time would sting a lot. But our grandson needs help, and you're gonna help him whether you want to or not. Better late than ever, right? <laughs> Gigi's, let her know I'm out of St. Anne's. She's the kid. I wish you would have called me. I, I understand why you didn't know her. I wanted to call you. I wanted to stop myself. So you're here getting tested? Uh, I, I don't. I don't think I can be a donor. Why not? Well, one of the things that tested to me was give me hepatitis C. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. I'm in remission. Thank God. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to spend the rest of my life making up for all the bad things tested to other people, including me. We are really going through with this, aren't we? Jared, we have to. Hey, I just... oh. But we did. We did, and we know that Jessica's baby died. We know that. God, it is... Horrible to think what she put herself through driving to the hospital with her dead baby beside her. Yeah, well, Jessica didn't go through that. Bess made sure of it. And then she swapped that poor baby for Star's healthy one. Hi. Oh, hi. Mercy, Michael. Are you guys visiting Matthew or Shane? Uh, both. Oh. Yeah. And we're getting tested um, for Shane. You know, we went, we went to the... The cafe, the don't don't know drive, but they were they were packed. So oh really? Now, but uh, Michael and I were just trying to get to the bottom of what I told you about yesterday. Stars, baby. Yeah. Uh, they checked Cole's blood three times, and it's confirmed Hope could not have died from Rh disease. I was just saying to Marcy, I mean maybe maybe Cole's not the father. I... Of course, he's the father, Michael. You know Star better than well, that. Okay, there's no other scientific explanation, all right? Nothing else makes any sense. If Hope didn't die from our age, then what happened? Michael and Marcy are trying to find out. I'm so sorry, Star. I don't even know what to say. Nobody does. Look, um, didn't Aunt Vicky say that you could swab me? She was blown away that you'd even want to do it. Why wouldn't I? Star. Your mom's incredible. I wouldn't even think about being a bone marrow donor at a time like that. It saved my life when I was little, Langston. You have to pay it forward no matter what. Oh, Langston. What? Okay, who's up next? I'm next. Uh, hello? I was here first. Seriously? I mean, I mean, you, you want to get into a fight about who gets to get their cheek swapped next? Yeah, you cut in front of me. I didn't see you, Layla. Oh, because you were too busy scoping the room looking for a stand-in for Vanessa? Oh, and then you can blame my comatose sister for sleeping with her, too. You didn't hear what I said last night, did you? Maybe I would, if you said something worth remembering. You know, look, I, I know you think every man in the world has let you down, but did you ever think that maybe, maybe they left you because you're a bitch? Stacy, I'm really sorry about your nephew. So, this is the chick you dumped me for? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. Your new friend introduced herself to me a few days ago. So when you reached out to me, 
What was that? Were you trying to size up your competition? <sighs> Kick it back. What are you in for? Huh? Your diagnosis. Oh, leukemia. You? Lymphoma. You got a name? Shane. What's yours? Frankie. Shit for Francesca. Thought it was a boy, right? It's the hair. You'll lose yours soon. I gotta go. Okay. See you later. Sure. Am I gonna look like her? Hey, hey listen up. When life throws you a curveball, you gotta get on that bull, you gotta embrace it and go for that big ride. And we're not gonna let you fall. Honey, are you sure about this? Positive. I don't want to wait for it to happen. I just want it to be done. It's okay, Dad. You gotta embrace the bull. Right, Graham? Right. And you know, I bet once you get that bone marrow, your hair is gonna grow back better than ever. If I get the new bone marrow. Don't talk like that. We will find a match. Vicki and Charlie are rounding up hundreds of people to get tested. And there's a worldwide registry. Michael said that there was a guy in the U.S. who was a match with a guy in Germany. Yeah, but isn't it better if they're related to me? Well, sure. I mean, that's why we all got tested. We are going to dig up every Morasco and Balsam we could find. What a search that's going to be. <laughs> You know, it's worth dealing with deadbeat relatives if one of them's a match. Look, I didn't know that you and, um... Oliver. Yeah, sorry. that You guys were hooking up, so... The only reason why I came up to you is because I knew you were friends with Rex's ex, and I had heard he was a player, so I just... I wanted to look out for my sister, you know? Okay, uh, I better get back to the hospital, all right? Stacy. If you, if you see Gigi, please tell her that she and Shane are in operas. Well, she's a lucky girl. She's got great friends like you and Shane and Rex. Lucky Gigi's sister showed up when she did. Yeah, isn't it? Five, Five four, three, two, two one. one. I got my training from a nurse, okay? <laughs> See, there's that smile. I don't know how you do it. No matter what's going on, you always make me laugh. So have you seen Cole? I don't even know where he is. Probably better off I don't. If I were to see him, I'd probably end up blurting out everything about hope. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Talking about how hope died. How could that be good for either of us? There's only one other possible explanation, that the pathologist was wrong. How do you find out? By exhuming the body. And I don't want to put Marcy or Star or Cole or anybody Look, through that. Michael, so... it's not like any of this is going to bring hope back. So nope. can we please just let her rest in peace, yes. please? Um... We better get over to the cafe. I, uh, when Gigi called and told me, I promised her that we would help, so. Oh, no, go, go. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to keep you. No, you didn't. You didn't keep us, really. Uh, thank you again for listening. Of course. Okay, see you soon. Bye. God, that poor woman. I can't believe we're standing here holding the answer to what they're so desperately looking for. Knowing that it will bring hope back. Proving Chloe isn't Jessica's baby is one thing. We still got to prove that she's stars. And we got to get DNA from Star without getting her hopes up. We can do it. I hope so. We got to do the right thing for Chloe and Marcy and Star. Here. What's this? This 
stuff, just some clothes, toothbrush, shampoo, lavender soap. Hospital soap gets you clean, but it sucks in every way else. Yep. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're the best. You need me to stay? No, I'm all right. John and Aunt Dorian are here. I just want to take a quick shower and get back to my mom. Okay. Call me or text me if you need anything, okay? Okay, I will. You are so rocking that look. Just like Bruce Willis. Or Vin Diesel. Or Kojak. Who? Oh, the ladies loved him back in the day. Okay, you guys are making me nervous. Can I say? Close your eyes. Open them. Wow. What do you think, kiddo? I don't look like Dad anymore. Are you sure you want to do this? There is nothing I wouldn't do for my son. This is something I need to do myself. get the results back? I'll shoot for a quick turnaround, but Shane Rasko's donor drive might hold things up a little bit. I'll do my best. We appreciate it. Well, that's that. You turning back now? Whatever the results are, we're gonna have to live with it. And so will Jessica. What a turnout. It's wonderful. People are coming out in droves. I just hope there's a match for Shane somewhere in there. Hey, guys. Hey, Christian. Hi. Thanks so much for getting tested. And please, thank Carlotta for this incredible buffet. I will. I will. She's in church right now making a novena for Shane. I'll see you guys. Bye. Can I ask you something? Okay. Did you really break it off with me? Because of Stacy? Or was it because I acted like a bitch? Please don't be mad. You can't just sneak up and kiss me. I know, I'm sorry, Marco. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought you did your cousin. I shouldn't be having a mad crush on her boyfriend, but I can't help it. Promise me you won't say anything to Langston. I promised that after the last time you kissed me. And I did something for you, too. I didn't tell Langston how much you liked it. Or how much you like what I just did, too. Am I interrupting something? So, this is Chloe. Mm -hmm. We just dropped her big sister off at preschool. Chloe, this is Brony, <laughs> mommy's friend. Oh, oh, oh. Do you want that? Who is that? Oh, just as gorgeous as your mother. Same. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is there anything we can do? I don't think there's anything to do. Thanks. Just let us know, okay? I will. Right now, I'm just gonna go take a quick shower. But thanks for stopping by. Would you like me to hold your locket for you while you take a shower? Hello, my darling. Chloe! Mom, you know Brody, you love it, right? It's very nice to see you again, Brody. Thank you so much for everything you're doing for Gigi and Shane. Oh, please, I wish there were more I could do. And I want to thank you for being such a good friend to Jesse when we were both at St. Anne's. Well, she kept me going. If it wasn't for her, I might still be in there. Well, I, I should get my test done. Uh, looks like you're finishing up. seem to be very fond of him. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Um, Brody's the nicest guy I've met since... Since Nash. But? But we're two barely recovered crazies. Jesse. We are. We are, Mom. So we decided to remain friends. Oh. That's it. Hi. Hi. How's the little one doing? She's great. Michael, um, I was wondering, can I be tested to be a donor? Uh, sorry. No, it's just, that's not possible. Busy day, huh? Yeah. Got a stack of tests this high. All for Shane Marasco. Well, it's great for him. It's a bummer for you. Look, uh, you wouldn't mind getting to mine first, would you? Shane's my nephew. I could be the one. I tried to do it yesterday, but I guess I just got waylaid. Waylaid? Is mm. that so? It is. So, um, do me first. Ring me with the results. Exotic dancer. I didn't know you ladies had business cards. Well, when you're as good as me. <laughs> really? You know, it's too bad you don't have a pole in here. I'm a genius. Why do they always have to take my blood? I guess it's to see if the chemo's working. You're leaving? I'll be back. <laughs> you can count on it. <laughs> Both of dead? Oh my god. Hey dude, you wanna make my day or my year? Tell me I'm a match for my grandson. The name is Roxanne Balsam. Come on, you want to check it out? I'm a little swamped right now. Okay, when did you get tested? Yesterday. Come on, tell me I'm a winner. I'm sorry. Well, what about my friend? The one named John Doe. I lost it. I don't know what I would do. So thank you so much. It'll be safe, I promise. Excuse me. Can I hold your pretty little girl? Oh, of course you can. Yeah. She's got a case of the hiccups. Oh, but... you do? Oh, oh my you goodness. She's hiccups. so beautiful, oh, she... isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. I know sometimes I feel like I don't really deserve her. Of course you do. She's right. Listen, you are you now, okay? Tess is gone. She can't hurt you or anyone else. Let's do this. Star's not going to be gone long. She's in a hurry to get back to Blair. I just wish she had taken her bag. I would have pulled the whole hairbrush trick again and gotten some DNA. I just can't believe this locket fell into her hands. Jared. Are oh, you having second thoughts? You know, what if we do get the proof? Is Tess going to come back because Jess can't handle the fact that Carrie's not her baby? If she asks you to go in the basement, say no. You know, that's still not funny. <laughs> I know. If the truth comes out, we could lose Chloe. And Jessica. Okay, I have to run back. Oh, um, well, I'll see you later? Yeah. Okay. We're just talking about that boy, Shane. It's so sad that he's sick. I need to talk to Langston. Alone. I'll see you at home, right? Sure. This girl is so much fun to live with. She's like the sister I always wanted. I'd die if anyone did anything to make her unhappy. Okay, now I know something's wrong between you and Lola. What is it? Try the pancakes, they're great. Uh, not yet. I owe you an apology, Charlie. For what? Yay meeting last summer. The stuff I said. 
Well, that's one of the 12 steps. Admitting the exact nature of your wounds. I, I was only at that meeting to get Gigi off my back about drinking when I had Shane in the car. And I shouldn't have spilled my guts like that. I said all that stuff about Shane not being my son and, and, and trying to keep Rex from finding out. I put you in a tough position, and I'm sorry. Hey, no need to apologize. You doing okay now? Getting there. This feels great. Do you think we look good? I think we look like eggheads. Nah. If we do, I'm digging it. Thanks, Dad. No! Hey, you know, you're killing me. Is John Doe a match or what? What's John Doe's real name? Like I told you yesterday, he likes to do things on the QT. That's a shame. Um, we're gonna need to know who he is. Why? Because your friend John Doe is a match. John Doe is a match? That sucker's a match? Sure is. Every marker. Looks like Mr. Doe's bone marrow is gonna save your grandson's life. Now, I just need to know what his actual name is. Well, if the bone marrow fits, why don't they just take it? Yeah. There's protocol to follow, um, like checking a patient's medical history. Well, don't people get organs and other stuff from stiffs that they don't know? Yeah. Okay. Shane Marasco's parents, family, they don't need to know who the donor is, but we do. <laughs> Wait a second. No can do. No, no. My son needs to know. My son will do anything to find out who saved his son. Okay, listen. Do you, do you want to save your grandson's life or not? Layla, I really liked you, but you are so not into me. At least that's what I got if I was reading the signals, right? But we were starting something, weren't we? Yeah, but you seem so on the fence. And then I met Stacy, and I have never had anyone come on to me like that. And it felt, it felt great. And so I went with it. Okay, so it had nothing to do with me acting like a bitch. No, no, not at all. You know, I, uh, I have to get back to work. All right, see you later, fish. I've never held a kid this small. Not even Shane? I was in the service when he was born. I, I didn't get to meet him until last year. You okay? It's killing me that Shane's sick. You know, and just seeing Gigi yesterday, I, I felt so bad for her. I think she was afraid I'd lose it when I found out. I've been on the receiving end of that look. I know. You know, when people around you are afraid you're going to lose it, you start worrying that you're going to lose it, too. Yeah, exactly. But I kept it together. I'll do whatever I can for them. But Shane's not my son. And... Now I get why I needed to pretend that he was. You know, why I spent so much time holding on to a kid who was never mine. Jessica is holding on to a baby that isn't hers. We're not 100% sure about that. Jared, I know. Marcy and Star have no idea. Hope is alive. They deserve to know that, don't they? Do I want you to be bald? You sure? Because I'm totally fine with it. It would kind of freak me out. Me too, but nice of you to offer. Well, if you change your mind, it's here today, gone tomorrow. How lucky am I? I have the two most handsome boys in the whole world. You don't understand. John Doe doesn't go under this name for nothing. He's a very, very private person. Does he value his privacy more than saving someone's life? No. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I gotta think about this.
What are you staring at? I just wanted to tell you I'm sorry that you weren't a match. Yeah, it's too bad. But it's not a problem, right? Since that friend of yours can save Shane's life. There you go. Thank you. you bet. And I hope your mom comes around soon. I do too. I should really be getting back to her. Okay. It was so sweet of you guys to wait around for me just to watch my locket and to keep it safe. All I have left of hope. I should get going. Oh, okay. Hi, Israel. I'm glad I ran into you. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe we could run into each other sometime on purpose. Meaning? Meaning we're friends, right? Maybe uh, you can call me sometime. Do you think we made the right decision to, to just be friends? You might want to bag this up, too. Is that Sir's toothbrush? I grabbed it while you two were talking. We bring that to the lab. We have everything we need to prove that Jessica's baby belongs to Star. Yeah. Yeah, well, we made the right decision to stay friends. Anyways, I was uh, reminded today that I uh, come with a lot of baggage. Yeah, me too. all weird when I walked in. Were you guys fighting? No. Are you sure? You can tell me. Everything's fine, okay? Okay. Hey. She brought like yourself can open that door from the inside. <laughs> That's right. We're trapped. <laughs> now, why do I get the feeling that you don't really like Shishi's sister very much? Stacy? I just met her. Vicky, I could tell you didn't like her the minute she walked in here. Gigi and I actually had a little chat about her sister the other day. And let's just say that we both have sisters that we don't trust. We're friends. You know, your friend. The one that can save Shane's life. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Seriously, Roxy? I think you do. Good news. Shane is responding really well to the chemotherapy. <clears throat> There's something else, Michael. What is it? 
We're going to need to find a bone marrow donor sooner than expected. Let's not play games, Roxy. I know your dirty little secret. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. The next One Life to Live. I want to hire you to represent my son, Cole. If you hate me so much, then why do you care what I think about you? God, we're just taking away, Woody. The killer's leaving us a message.